Understanding the appearance of, of normal x-rays, now let's look at examples of ankle x-rays of patients with ankle fractures. So in comparison to a normal medial clear space and stable mortis, the radiographs of a ankle demonstrating deep deltoid ligament injury are shown here. The medial clear space is significantly wider than the superior clear space. And in the setting of a fractured fibula, the mortis translates laterally and subluxes in the joint. Studies have demonstrated that tenderness to palpation, ecchymosis or swelling are poor indicators of deltoid ligament injury. This radiograph demonstrates a lack of tibiofibular overlap and a significant increase in tibiofibular clear space, which is consistent with a syndesmotic injury. Malalignment of the ankle joint predisposes to pain and arthritis. Even one to two millimeters of abnormal Taylor shift significantly change the contact pressures and areas on the joint leading to early arthritis. Deciding which treatment is best for the patient is dependent on an understanding of stability of the ankle joint. The mortis is unstable if you have at least one injury to the inside of the ankle with an additional injury to the outside of the ankle. An injury to the syndesmosis or the lateral malleolus has to be associated with an injury to the medial malleolus or the deltoid ligament. If only a medial sided injury is present or only a lateral sided injury is present, these are typically stable injuries that can be treated without surgery. Now let's look at examples of ankle x-rays of patients with ankle fractures. Uh, this is a 27-year-old female who had a slip on ice, and the x-rays demonstrate a fracture of the distal fibula, widening of the medial clear space, with a possible injury to the syndesmosis given alterations in the tibiofibular overlap and clear space. In this example, there is a fracture of the distal fibula. However, the medial clear space appears normal, less than the superior clear space, so no medial injury is present. Therefore, despite the fracture to the fibula, this is a stable injury that can be treated without surgery. This radiograph demonstrates a medial malleolus fracture. The lateral side of this ankle is uninjured. There is no fracture, and the tibiofibular overlap and clear space indicate a stable syndesmosis. Therefore, given the medial sided injury only, this is a stable injury and can often be treated without surgery. This x-ray demonstrates a fracture of the distal fibula. However, examining the medial clear space, it is wider than the superior clear space, suggestive of a deep deltoid ligament injury. This is an example of a bimalleolar ankle fracture with the x-ray demonstrating fracture of the lateral malleolus and the medial malleolus, and there's a corresponding subluxation of the talus within the plafond. Given the fact that the lateral malleolus is fractured in the setting of a fracture of the medial malleolus, this is an unstable injury and requires surgery. On this radiograph, the medial malleolus is fractured and there is a significant increase in tibiofibular clear space indicating a syndesmotic injury. Given the fact that the syndesmosis on the lateral side of the ankle is injured in the setting of a fracture of the medial malleolus, this is an unstable injury that requires surgery. While no obvious fracture is present on these x-rays, the medial clear space is significantly wider than the superior clear space, indicating a deep deltoid ligament injury. Additionally, the tibiofibular overlap is decreased while the tibiofibular clear space is increased, indicative of a syndesmotic injury. The x-ray demonstrates lateral translation of the talus within the tibial plafond. Given the lateral and medial sided injuries, this is unstable and requires surgery. In conclusion, radiographic examination of the ankle is important and obtaining good x-rays allows for better detection of ligamentous and bony injuries. Understanding normal relationships of the tibia and fibula and talus, in addition to understanding the medial clear space, tibiofibular overlap and tibiofibular clear space, allow us to detect ligamentous and osseous injury. Ankle fracture treatment is based on shift of the talus, as well as the need to determine stability. When ankle fractures are unstable, they are often treated with surgery. When ankle fractures are stable with only a medial sided injury or only a lateral sided injury, it can often be treated without surgery. 
In the next video, we will discuss implications for stability and treatment. 